Welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by CSSMenuCreator.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to create your own custom responsive CSS menus. And in this video tutorial, I'm going to be demonstrating how easy it is for you to incorporate the menus into your own existing website layouts using a web editor of your choice. Now in this tutorial, I'm going to be using Dreamweaver CC. However, if you're using a different version of Dreamweaver or an entirely different web editor, such as Notepad++ or any editor of your choice, it really doesn't matter because CSS Menu Creator is literally going to write all of the code for you. And as you can easily see, all we're going to be doing is copy and pasting the code that the application writes for us. In preparation of this video tutorial, I've created this website template that we're going to be using as an example to incorporate our CSS menus and our responsive menus into, um, and we're going to be inserting our CSS menu into this div here. I'm also going to show you how to install the responsive menu and also make your web pages responsive in turn. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, just for a point, now, just to make the point, um, I am going to be using Dreamweaver CC, which is the latest version of the Adobe product um, in this tutorial. However, it doesn't matter if you're using another version of Dreamweaver or an entirely different uh, web editor altogether because we're going to be working in code view. Um, that doesn't mean we're going to be writing any code because as you may or may not know, CSS Menu Creator literally writes all the code for you. So all we're actually going to be doing is copying and pasting pre-written snippets of code that we can take directly from um, CSS Menu Creator. Now there's going to be a direct link to this uh, website in the description of this video. However, you can simply navigate to it yourself, cssmenucreator.com. Now, when you do visit the site, all you have to do is either select the menus option to browse our entire range of menus, or you can scroll down and see a quick selection of some of the menus that we have available here on the site. So I'm going to choose this menu and I'm going to select build menu. When I do, I come to um, this page. This is where we can start to build our menus. And as you can see, it literally writes all the code for you. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to incorporate it. Now, the first step of this tutorial is to actually build the menu in terms of adding the options to the menu um, that we want. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first link I want to add to the menu is, of course, home. And we can simply, uh, for now, we can add a link here. Um, but I'm just going to enter a hashtag because um, we can add links later. So I'm just going to add that option to my menu. As you can see, it's added it to the preview. Um, and I can also see that it's, it, that it's writing the HTML for me. So I'm going to continue. I'm also going to add a um, about page. And I'm also going to add a contact page. Now, of course, you can add whatever links that you want. I'm only providing you an example. If at any point you wanted to remove a link, it's very simple. So for example, if I just add a quick link here, you can see it's also added it to um, the code here, but I can just click on this delete button. And as you can see, it's removed the link from my menu preview. This is of course the menu we're building. Now, if you come and browse our menus, you can select from any of our range of menus and we have a, a growing library of menus. Um, so, okay, so we've now built the menu. Of course, you can build and add whatever links you like, but uh, as for this example, I'm quite happy to proceed with this. So what we're going to do here is the first of all, we want to take over the first snippet of code, which is the HTML. And as you can see, as we've written this, so we created a home about contact, it's actually written that for us. This is the HTML we need. So I'm just going to copy this code. So right click copy, and I'm going to come over back to my web editor. Now, all you have to do is copy this code into um, the area on the web page that you want it to appear. So for example, here, I want this menu to appear in this div I've created here in my layout. So I'm going to come into code view and I have, and I know that, um, as you can see, I've created this div here with the class of menu I'm inserting it into. So within this div here, I'm just going to paste the code I've taken from CSS menu creator. Now, as you can see, right now all it is is an ordered list it's the css that will actually create the style that we're um, trying to incorporate so let's go ahead 
back to CSS Mini Creator and we need to copy the CSS. So CSS Mini Creator has written all of this code for us. So I'm just going to literally copy that. I'm going to come back to Dreamweaver, go back into Code View. Again, you could be in any web editor. And as um, the website explains here, you need to paste this before you're closing head tags. Okay, so let's come back to Dreamweaver. As you can see, um, here's my opening head tag, and here's my closing head tag. So I'm literally just going to paste that code. And as you can see, my menu is now appearing um, on the page. Let me just quickly come back up here. I'm just going to remove this margin. And if I come back into design views, you can see if we now go into uh, preview this in, let's say, uh, Firefox, as you can see, we have our menu and it's really starting to take shape. Um, and this is actually uh, the menu built. However, we also want to incorporate the responsive CSS menus um, into our web page. So let's go ahead back to CSS menu creator. So I'm just going to close this and we'll come down. And as you can see, this is the responsive menu. So the first thing we need to do is we need to call a few scripts and we need to include our viewport uh, meta tag. So we're, I just copied this and again it's telling us we need to place this code uh, within our head tag. So I'm going to come back to Dreamweaver and go back into code view. Again this is my um, opening head tag and I'm just going to place this after my page title. So let's come back into design view um, and let's come back to CSS Mini Creator. The next thing we need to do is we need to paste after the opening body tag. Okay, so I'm just going to take this code, copy it, go back into Dreamweaver, let's come back into Code View, let's come down, and as you can see, this is my opening body tag. So I'm just going to literally paste this code after that. Let's come back into the Design View, and here we go. So, okay, the final bit of code here, we need to paste this just after our closing. Uh, sorry, just before our closing body tag. So I'm just going to right click, copy, come back into design view, code view. Um, and here is my closing body tag. So I'm just going to paste this here. And I'm going to save my page now. Now I'm going to save this. Now you're going to notice that we have a number of scripts now that we're calling. Um, and you're going to notice that if we select one of them, for example, this, it's telling us that this file is missing. Now the reason it's missing is because if I come back to CSS Mini Creator, you're going to see that we have this download. This is the download for um, the dependent files. So I'm just going to click on here to download the file. Okay, so as you can see, I'm in my site root folder, and this is the folder, um, the zip file I've just downloaded from CSS Mini Creator. So I'm going to right click with WinRAR, with WinRAR, and I'm going to extract the files to the folder. And then I'm just going to basically cut the folder CSS Mini Creator and I'm going to paste that into my site root so I can delete these two folders now. Now within here of course I've got all, just got all of the um, files that we need. So I'm going to now return to Dreamweaver and if I come and launch this in my web browser, so let's launch this in Explorer you can see I have my CSS menu installed on the page. Now if I resize this page, you're going to notice that we suddenly have our responsive mobile menu.